brains, brawn, bravery, and beauty. That's what I'm going to talk about today, as well as showing some of the garden updates. I did uh, some more shifting things around in the back garden. Here we have the cilantro that I showed you earlier with flowers, and here are the beautiful seeds starting. Cilantro. Fresh green, loved by the Mexicans. Coriander, the seed used as a spice. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Tilled around here, amended the bed, and pruned back the bell peppers. If you remember, these are the two mature plants that had been overwintered. They're perennials, but most of the time grown as an annual, and they've taken quite a beating from the dogs chewing on them and walking past and breaking off new growth. But as I can see, I've already had flower buds starting to form. Shallots and uh, garlic looking good. Dinosaur kale looking exceptional. This will get about three feet tall. Three and a half. Very nice. Looks decorative too. Gorgeous. So let's talk about brains. Brains are uh, a lot of times people take for granted, you know, what intelligence is and uh, how it plays into your life and your decision making. And at times like these, you know, most of the preppers, it takes thinking outside of mainstream and the box. So that's the key to your success, the human race's success. Brawn. <laughs> it takes a little bit of that. You know, we've, uh, we come from, most of us come from very warring tribes. And we had to be a strong and healthy and resilient people to make it this far into the game and to keep our bloodline going. A little pause here. Tiller was out. Cages put over. And this is a dragon tongue bean is here. Can't wait to see these bad boys. They're very beautiful. We now have a threesome going on the first of the tomatoes. I don't know if you could see them. Let me move that. There's the other one. And there's the tiniest one back there. Love the little clusters. Gorgeous flowering. Lots more clusters coming up. And it's a, they're very compact plants, but they're going to start pumping out the fruit. So, our next bee on the list is bravery. It's no time to be chicken shit, people. You know? Worry about who's following your email, your telephone calls, monitoring Facebook, what you're doing on YouTube. There are no secrets. Not on a surface level here playing this game on planet Earth, nor on a spiritual level. You're pretty much an open book, so get used to it. Be brave and do what needs to be done. Follow that conscience, follow that spirit and that heart and do what's right. We all know it. You know, you're put in those situations and we all know the right from wrong. Be brave, do the right things. Sometimes it takes sacrifice, but that's what makes greatness. That's your testing your metal, your character building. And last but not least, a favorite topic of mine, beauty. Now while this is, can be subjective, and beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. 
most people agree on what is beautiful in this world. Slight variations. So, I encourage you with every day, no matter what kind of trials and tribulations you're going through, find the beauty. Find the beauty in the silent moments. Find the beauty in the chaos. Set a special dinner table. Enjoy some of, some of it, you know? Take time, breathe deep, and absorb the beauty. It really is all around you. We have to slow down enough to really, to really look at it. Okay. Huh. It doesn't look like um, the black Spanish round are going to ball up. It looks like the soil temperature is too hot for this variety. And here it's starting to go to seed. Little flowers are going to start and they get a nice chubby little seed pod radish varieties do. I started eating the French breakfast as you can see. The, um, the patches dwindling and I'll tell you what this was the spiciest radish I've ever had and then I washed up a handful of them and the next day um, they weren't so spicy but fresh out of the garden wow did it have a bite and here we have the first flower on the peas uh, I'm the soils really dry I, I'm boosting it trying to control this yellowing it usually, if you have a nitrogen, nitrogen deficiency, it takes a while for it to, um, to catch up to the plant and get that green growth. This dill is very, very happy here. And a nice big bed of cilantro has come up. And I'm seeing good growth on the lettuce with those cool nights. Beets are happy. Mustard greens are super happy. And all of the varieties of tomatoes are, are doing extremely well. All right. We did a little configuration. Well, reconfiguration, I should say. With moving that fence line and extending the garden. There we go, spinning around. I decided to open up this space here so when I'm bringing in the wheelbarrow. There's no plants right by the gate and put some edging around the, the beds. Put some citrus trees that were in the small pot, separated them, put them in the big pot. Also started a big pot of uh, apple trees. I don't know if you all know this, but you know, you start those apples from the seeds and you really never know what you're going to get. They carry an immense amount of uh, genetic knowledge and diversity. Sowed a lot of stuff back here, kohlrabi and uh, two different kind of beets, transplanted some amaranth. So I'm going to step back here and give you uh, a broad view. I have my rice seeds soaking. They need to soak in water and then you rinse them, pull them out of the water and uh, still keep them damp for a day and look for your germination rate. Looking for an 80 plus. And I'm going to make up a mud mixture, put it in there. And that'll be the little rice experiment just to keep seeds viable, not to produce to eat. Make no mistake about that. You need an immense amount of uh, space for that. And this is all Cal Wonder bell peppers. My first time direct sowing bell peppers. And I direct sowed some lemon apple cucumbers and also put some in pots. My old seed stock, 09, um, I'm running almost 100% germination rate on the lemon apple cucumbers. You're going to love them, anybody who got seed from me, because they, they just kick out these incredible, very, very beautiful and delicious cucumbers. And because of their name, lemon apple, they're round and they're yellow. Gorgeous though. Okay, here's your question. I'd like for you to name me the four families of squash and why it's important that you choose one from each family 
uh, to plant at a time. Okay, have a great day. I'm gonna kick it into high gear and put in some more seeds. Take care, love you, bye.